Hello everyone, Sigrev2 back again with another video for you all, and today we're going to be taking a look at DDR Max Dance Dance Revolution for the US, released in 2002. I finally got a year right for one of these videos. Uh, I just wanted to clear a few things up uh, in this series. I've already done Dance Dance Revolution US and Konamix for the PlayStation 1. Um, in regards to the Konamix video, I got a few things wrong that I would like to address momentarily. First things first, La Senorito is not actually in that game. I don't know why or how it appeared in my tier list. I think in that ranking you can watch me hesitate momentarily when I notice that song pop up. Uh, just an honest mistake. You can choose to ignore it, you can choose to dwell on it, that's entirely up to you, whatever decides to get you your fix of funny for the day um also after the game of love is technically not in the game um it's actually the instrumental version titled after the game uh with that being said i would probably knock that down a few points be but overall uh yeah, the video is a little bit flawed, the list is a little bit flawed, but at the end of the day, this is all just for fun. I'm having a fun time making them, and hopefully you're having a fun time watching them. Um, you know, just human error. Just human error. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it, it's really no one's fault except Konami. It's entirely Konami's fault. Anyway, yes, DDR Max Dance Dance Revolution, the first PlayStation 2 era title released in the US. Um, I have mixed feelings about this one. The song list is incredible, but the engine is busted and antiquated as all hell. And uh, I absolutely hate, 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 hate the unlock system for that and how inconsistent and just unnecessary some of it is. But we're not taking a look. At the game itself no 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 we are ranking these songs by themselves and i have hopefully the entire song list right in front of me thanks to tearmaker.com and so ladies and gentlemen let's waste no more time let's get down into brass tacks here we're gonna start off with dark black forest short trip and that's going into one out of five. We we just started and we're already at bottom tier. Damn, this list is not going to be good, is it? It's just a very boring, un, uneventful song. And the cut itself does not do the song any justice. I don't think it works well for DDR. You know, I think putting it in one out of five might be a little bit too harsh. Let's put it into two out of five. It is probably my least favorite license to come from a, a DDR game. And uh, this game actually has a few exclusive licenses, which are appearing in rapid succession, it looks like, on my list here. But, yeah, the, the, uh, the uh, licenses that they added to DDR Max US... You're not going to see them rank very highly, and that's a little bit of a spoiler alert. Uh, like I like to move it. That's also going into two out of five. Uh, it's a nice, funny meme. That's it, that's about it. Um, I get it. You like to watch Madagascar as a kid. Um, I I didn't find it funny even when I was a kid, and I'm a grown man now. I'm for real, this bad boy is going to go into 4 out of 5, absolutely. I might be a little bit biased because I do like me some slake, but I'm for real is just a fun and original number. Like, that's one of the best things about slake is you can never, you, you, you won't find him resting on his laurels. He, he'll always provide you something that's unique and interesting, and for that we thank you. Jam and Marmalade. This one's going to go into 3 out of 5. Primarily because I really wish it was longer. It's got some nice grooves going on. It's got some nice ideas. But for the most part, it's it's okay at best. It should have been longer. That's my main issue with Final Offsets. Like the two songs that they have in DDR. Uh, they're way too short. They're way too short. And it's understandable if this is like early Beat Mania. But um, 
Yeah, we're a few years into this DDR train now, and you're still dropping us these uh, tiny tunes. Although, I, it was originally from another one of the Bamani titles. Right now, I can't remember. I kind of just woke up about 10 minutes ago, so... Logical Dash. Oh, boy. This one's going into 1 out of 5, and it's staying in 1 out of 5. Um, this is just an absolute mess, 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 mess of a song. Uh, it's... It exemplifies one of the main things that irritates me about early Beat Mania stuff, and it just feels like a bunch of samples being thrown around just because they can. And there's no rhyme or reason, there's no real melody, there's nothing to grasp onto. It's just vocal samples from out of nowhere, and the mix is probably what irritates me the most out of this one. But overall... Not a good song. Not a good song at all. Uh, never should have came to DDR. In fact, I think it's even still in for some ungodly reason. Overblast. This one, I got to put it in the same park as uh, Jam and Marmalade. Because it's an absolute jam of a tune. But it, it's barely a fucking minute long. It would have benefited so much for just at least... 20 30 more seconds it would have been smack dab in five out of five tier i think uh peace out i'm a little bit sick of hearing it i've heard it a lot growing up but i can't sit here and tell you that it's awful i'm putting that bad boy in a three out of five sandstorm yes the i super iconic sandstorm darude meme uh you're lucky that it slaps you're absolutely lucky that it slaps, so it's going into 4 out of 5. Um, the cut kind of doesn't do the song justice, but, I mean, it's an absolute fun tune to listen to. Like, I, I'm, I won't complain necessarily about Sandstorm being in. Uh, at least they didn't absolutely butcher the cut like they did with Dark Black Forest. Take it to the morning light. This bad boy's going into 5 out of 5. Yes, we finally got a 5 out of 5, and it's a license, no less. Oh, and speaking of 5 out of 5, The Shining Polaris, which is going to rank even higher than Take It to the Morning Light. Damn. I, I, I fucking love The Shining Polaris. Like If I were to do a video talking about my top 15, 20 DDR songs that appeared in DDR, that would easily easily appear into it let me adjust my microphone real quick my pop filter is uh running away from me it's not very nice uh you leave me alone this is gonna be one of the originals that manages to make it into three out of five it's a very nice addition it feels like something that should have been in max to begin with but I I don't know if they left it off for the international market or if they just just found it on a whim and decided to add it. But it's a very neat little tune. I'm trying to keep my reviews of these <laughs> reviews of these songs a bit shorter than normal. Um, it's it's getting to the point now where these song lists are becoming very long. And um, I'm sure you guys don't want to sit through a 30-plus minute video, uh, maybe up to an hour with some of the larger ones. So, uh, you know, but it's entirely up to you guys. I I'm, I'm basically winging it in this YouTube game, so let me know in the comments below. Um, if you don't mind the longer videos, if I should split these in half, you know, what should I do to entertain you guys? I do appreciate the feedback, and thank you very much for taking time out of your day for watching these videos. Uh, I, at first, thought it'd just be a little bit of a struggle to sit and watch someone talking, no background audio, just me talking and fucking about on Tear Maker for a while, for fucking 25 plus minutes, but you guys seem to be enjoying it, and, um... I'm enjoying it too. I might not seem like it. I like I said, I just woke up not too long ago and I, I really wanted to get this video out and to do this video. Cause people have been asking for it and on Discord, the lovely, lovely Discords that I'm on, 
uh, people have been dropping their tier maker list for this game because this list has already existed. I made this last year. Uh, the tier maker itself, which will be in the comments below or comments description, whatever. Man, am I on a roll today? Uh, five one one five eleven five point one point one point. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the three out of five right next to its brother. Peace out. Again, it, it it's like barely a minute long, and it's such a beautiful tune that it, it irritates me. That I get blue balled so fucking quickly when I listen to it. Celebrate. This is another one of those one out of five. In fact, I think it's probably worse than Logical Dash. Um, I, I get what they're trying to go for with that song. But man, is it very difficult to actually listen to. Um, the singing. The harmonies. None of that shit is meshing well with me. And it's not mixed perfectly well, considering it was an early 2DX song. So thing, some things are unnecessarily mixed louder than others. And I think with a little bit more polish, it could be a, at least a solid 3 out of 5. But as it stands, like, it's almost fucking unlistenable. Uh, but QD Chaser Morning Mix is definitely listenable, and I'm going to put that bad boy in the 4 out of 5. Do It Right Harmonized Two-Step Mix, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's not one of my favorites. <laughs> I love the original Do It Right and the Challenge Only Remix from Max 2, which we'll get to in the next video. It's okay. There's some things that irritate me about it, but it's overall okay. But this sound is not a sound I'm looking for. I'm putting this bad boy in 2 out of 5. But Soda does redeem himself with Drop the Bomb System SF Mix. A song you have to play 500 other songs in the game to unlock. Uh, but fortunately for all of us, it's worth it. And this one, do I want to put it in five out of five or four out of five? Cause I do like it, but do I love it? I do like it more than enough. I'm putting it into four out of five. It definitely takes what the original drop, the bomb does and just amplifies it to the absolute max. And that's one of the things I love about early Soda Fujimori is that he, he, he just has fun making this music. It doesn't feel like a contract uh, obligation. Uh, same cannot be said for Downbird Soda Mix, which is at least better than the original Dynamite Rave, but not by much. So this one's going to go into 3 out of 5. Now, Kind Lady, I know a lot of people love this song, and a lot of people miss it from the current arcade titles. But I've heard it more than enough in my time to uh, put it in at least above Peace Out. I, I don't dislike it by any stretch of the imagination. I think that's par for the chorus for 3 out of 5. I don't dislike it, but I'm not going to sit here and stir your pasta and tell you that it's anything higher than 3 out of 5. It's okay. Now, look to the Sky True Color Mix. I mentioned this in the Kona Mix video. Yeah, Kona Mix video. The original look to the sky, not necessarily one of my favorites in DDR. It just feels empty. It feels like it needs more to it. And thankfully, that's where the True Color Mix comes in. This puppy is going to go into 5 out of 5. And I think some people in the comments can agree with me on that one. It's just the absolute peak of what a look to the sky song should be and um it's kind of sad that it's not in arcades anymore but at least we had it at all now so in love people are uh, as far as i'm aware no one really talks about this one and if they do they probably think it's mediocre but i am all for it and this puppy's going into four out of five uh, same with Secret Rendezvous. Actually, I'm putting that right now. I am putting it above So In Love. Yeah. 
Yeah. Secret Rendezvous, four out of five. Like I mentioned in, again, probably going to mix, probably the first one. Uh, Baby, Baby, Give Me Your Love has never been one of my favorites in the series, but Secret Rendezvous absolutely is. And as you can see from my list, I can't say it's one of my favorite favorites, but, um, I mean, four out of five ain't bad. Spin the disc, absolute groove tune. This one's going to go above Cutie Chaser Morning Mix. It's a shame it's no longer in the series anymore. Whatever happened with good, cool years and years ago, you know, that's... We can speculate that all day, but uh, at the end of the day, we're missing out on some damn good jams. Candy Star. Significantly better than the vocal version, but... I do like it a lot. I do like it a lot, but how much do I like it? Do I like it more than Drop the Bomb? Yeah. Yeah, I do. It's just so fun and bubbly, and... It, it, listening to it just makes me happy. It, it's just got such a nice feeling about it that it just puts me in a good mood anytime I listen to it. That's why I'm contemplating putting it into 5 out of 5. I think realistically, it should not go into 5 out of 5. But again, this is my list of personal preference. And me trying to rationalize this kind of stuff over how my heart feels in terms of this stuff. This feels dumb. Had to drink my morning coffee. Exotic Ethnic. This one is going to go just below System SF. But we're seeing a lot of 4 out of 5. We're seeing a lot of 4 out of 5, and that's very promising. That means that so far, so good. I mean, yeah, we have a few stinkers. We have a few stinkers, but overall, I'm seeing a bunch of jams. And guess what? We're about to add another one. Groove 2001. This one's going to go below Cutie Chaser. I prefer it significantly to the original one. I do like the original one, but there, there's something about this 2001 mix that's just so delicious. Healing Vision Angelic Mix. I do like me some Healing Vision. I do like Angelic Mix. But that fucking EKG machine. <laughs> if you haven't heard the song in a while, or you haven't heard it at all, I don't know why you're watching this video if you haven't heard that song or played this game. It just seems really weird. It's one of the default songs in the game. There's this EKG machine that constantly beeps throughout the entire song, a heart rate monitor. And it's just constantly going and it gets faster and faster and faster to the point where it's basically just a tinnitus ring throughout the last half of the song. And the song is about a minute and a half long. And, um, I mean, if you can listen to shit like Ventolin without wanting to blow your brains out, then more power to you. Fortunately, I am one of those people. I think Ventolin from Aphex Twin, fantastic, amazing song. But I don't know. I think that that being part of that song, like that, like that high pitched tone, works with the song. Like it feels like it's properly incorporated into the song, and here it just kind of feels like it's a gimmick thrown on top. But I'll fucking be damned if I told you it's not a goddamn good gimmick. Sorry, Candy. But Healing Vision Angelic Mix. It's always going to have a place in my slowly deflating heart. Uh, Let the Beat Hit Him Classic R&B Mix. This puppy is going to go into 3 out of 5. Very high tier 3 out of 5, though. Um, I it, Was it in one of the earlier games? Probably. I could have sworn it was in Kona Mix. 
it's been so long since I've done that list. I recorded that video, I want to say, on Monday. And it's Thursday now, and hopefully I'm going to be able to get this uploaded uh, before I have to go into work today. So, at the current moment in time, I don't remember where I placed it in that original list, but I do like it. And so, if I ranked it lower in that list, then here's some redemption. If I ranked it higher, then, well, it just goes to show how amazing the song list is for this game. Look to the Sky, the original one, like I said. Two out of five. It pales in comparison to the True Color mix, and I stand by that, even if you're going to put those two side by side. Now, Max 300, the legendary meme itself, Max 300. The song you probably think of when you think of DDR, except maybe Butterfly. Now, Max 300, as a song, does Max 300 slap? It do, but... Mm. I'm contemplating here. I'm not going to be like, oh my god, it's going to be in 5 5 best song ever. Because it's, it's, as a song, it's interesting. It's very, it's original. But I don't actively seek it out to listen to. There's not much to grasp on with the song it's a boss song made expressly for the intention of being a boss song it's in a similar boat to chaos from supernova i guess but yeah i i i don't have i'm not gonna lie to you and say i don't have a soft spot for it but I don't know. Might be nostalgia talking. Might be the meme talking. Could be anything. Midnight Blaze. This was going into 2 out of 5. I've never gotten the love for that song. It's extraordinarily annoying to me to listen to. And the System SF remix of it that came later on. Significantly better. Now, Ordinary World... The uh, cover of the Mike Oldfield song. This one's going into 5 out of 5 as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Love the atmosphere on it. It's such a beautiful song. Ordinary World. Wait a minute. Am I confusing that? Ordinary World. Ordinary World's not the Mike Oldfield song? Wow. Ordinary World is Duran Duran. Then which one's the Mike Oldfield song? Oh, Moonlight Shadow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, let me have another sip of my soda. Damn, I really gotta wake up. If I'm gonna make such rookie mistakes like that. Yes, yeah. It's a Duran Duran cover, not Mike Oldfield. I do apologize for the gaslighting. Uh, I will cancel myself immediately. Orion Point 78 Civilization Mix. This bad boy's going in a 5 out of 5. Amplifies absolutely everything that was in the original one. And goddamn, it makes everything fall into a place in a way that I didn't even think possible. Share My Love, this one's going to be another 4 out of 5. I'm going to put it just above Gru Seeker Rendezvous. Played that off smoothly. True Trance Sunrise Mix, this is going in a 1 out of 5. Terrible, awful, awful remix. Annoying. That seems to be the basis for 1 out of 5, is when it actively just starts to annoy the shit out of me doesn't have to necessarily be bad, I guess. I mean, that's what it feels like that I'm putting in there and there. I'm like, oh, well, it's not a bad song, but it annoys me. I mean, no, they're bad songs. They're bad, annoying, 
annoying, annoying, bad, bad songs. Uh, Abyss. How many songs do I have left? Okay. I don't have... Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm destroying the entire flow of this video. Abyss. This bad boy is going into 4 out of 5, and this one's going to be above Exotic F, above Max 300. I do like me some Abyss. Broken my heart. This one's going to go above Peace Out in 3 out of 5. And Ecstasy is going to go into 5 out of 5 above all of that. Yes, we're putting Ecstasy in 5 out of 5 because it's an absolutely amazing song and I don't want to hear anything different. Electro Tune is another one I'm really tempted to put into 5 out of 5, but I'm going to put it into 4 out of 5, just above Exotic Ethnic. And I do want to change something real quick. I do want to put Cutie Chaser above Max 300. Yeah, I'm going to lower that. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Max 300. I'm doing this on the fly here, folks. Healing Vision, another 4 out of 5. You're going to be seeing a lot of 4 out of 5. A lot of, damn, that's good, but not, damn, that's great. Alright. I'm going to have to put this puppy... Uh, right there. I was the one. It's going to be another 3 out of 5. This one's going to go... In between Overblast and Jam and Marmalade, I think. Insertion... Like I said earlier in the video, I'm trying to keep the talking to a minimum because we're already almost at 30 minutes of recording. So I'm just trying to focus on my placements here. And um, I don't know where I'd put insertion. I'd rank it very highly, I'll tell you that. Uh, not 5 out of 5 high. No, whoa, no, no. Above groove. Yeah. Uh, Matsuri Japan... There. My generation, one of my least favorite licenses to come from uh, the Captain Jack crew. So I'm putting that there. Remember You, one of my favorite songs in DDR ever, an amazing ballad. Naoki is criminally underrated when it comes to his ballads. And I will sit here and defend Remember You till the fucking death. Sana Maletna Ente is another 5 out of 5. Put that bad boy there. And the cube gonna put that there and am 3p it is in there it is in there huh uh yeah that one's also going to go in a five out of five above ecstasy but but i mean look at this it was originally the highest ranked song in dance Dance revolution uh ps1 us and look at it here it's not number one anymore Sorry, quick man. Baby, baby, give me your love. I'm seeing some repeats here, folks. Konami, what are you doing? Uh, I don't even remember where I put it in the original one. <laughs> uh, two out of five. Now, Brilliant 2 Orchestra Groove is going to go into five out of five. It's significantly miles, miles better than the original one. Every way, shape, or form. I just love what those orchestral flourishes do to the song. It really brings it to a whole new ev 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 <laughs> elevation that I didn't think possible. Aaron Astal makes this... Th th actually, this one's going above the Shining Polaris. I mean, look at that. Oh, that was a voice crack. Ooh. Hello, folks. I'm just now entering middle school. Aaron Nostalmix is probably one of my favorite songs in Bimani in general, honestly. I... The goddamn. It's just so good. I love, 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 love that atmosphere. Gentle stress. 
AMD's sexual mix. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Oh my god, I just opened up OBS and we're now at 30 minutes. I hope you guys uh, have been enjoying this. If you've been watching this so far, thank you. Thank you kindly. Uh, if you, you're skipping ahead to the end, I feel sorry for you, son. Uh, I've got 99 problems, but um, you're not one of them. It's me calling you a bitch, I guess. Um, if you've been watching this and you haven't skipped, uh, post something in the comments along the lines of, um, I don't know. I love McChickens. Yeah. Yeah. I love McChickens. In fact, I got a McChicken right here. Got it last night and I didn't even finish it. The absolute nerve. I'm wasting good material here. Grad Music Cyber AMD G5 Mix. I like it a lot more than I like the original one. I don't care for the original Grad Music Cyber at all. I, I look back to what I said about something like Logical Dash, but here it's at least better than... Eh, better than Kind Lady. Oh, yeah, I went there. Said it. Meant it. Holic, 4 out of 5. The, this one's going to go right here. It's a it's a very unique song. It's not only unique for Tak or Taka. I Taka, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's very unique for him. As far as I'm aware, he doesn't necessarily dabble in alternate time signatures, but this one having such a This one having such a unique time signature on top of just being rip roar and fun. It's just the cherry on the icing, the cherry on the cake. Love again tonight. Naoki blasting us again with mediocre stuff. I'm not a big fan of Naoki's work with Paula Terry. Um, a lot of it kind of just blends together at the end of the day, and that's unfortunate. Naoki has had has a lot of potential and seeing him squander it making basically the same song over and over with a certain vocalist it's a little bit disheartening i do wish that he did a little bit more with that material i mean the fucker has done so much for ddr in general under all sorts of different names i mean i'm seeing a few of his stuff already in five out of five but it just feels like he intentionally squandered his potential when he was doing the Eurobeat stuff with Paula Terry. And that's not a knock on Paula Terry. She's an amazing vocalist, and DDR would be nothing, uh, or let me rephrase that, would be significantly less w without her involvement and her presence. But I'm, I can't sit here and justify songs after songs after songs that sound identical just being thrown in for filler love this feeling this one is I, I don't can i don't really think about guilty pleasures i don't agree with that terminology but i i would be lying significantly if i told you that i didn't love this song more than i probably should and this bad boy's going into five out of five I'm at the point now where I have to start scrolling to get to my choices here, but at least we're almost done. Now, my summer love, that's a 5 out of 5. That That's a high 5 out of 5. That one's going just... Just under Remember You. Paranoia Evolution. One of my least favorite paranoias in general. 2 out of 5. I do like the bass that rumbles on throughout. Actually, 2 out of 5 is really... The, the more that I think about it, as much as it is one of my least favorite Paranoia remixes, it still do slap. So, I'm putting this bad boy right there. It's got a nice bass to it. it it's very pounding. And I like some of the concepts that flow through it, but I don't know. There, it could have been so much more. It's unfortunate. Rhythm and Police, always been a big fan of that one this one's gonna go right here uh silent hill 
Silent Hill has always been a soft spot for me. I've always loved Silent Hill. Uh, the song, the game, but the song primarily. It's just got... It, it embodies the Christmas warmth and spirit so well. It In this form, in the third Christmas form, uh, there's a version on the V-Rare, which is absolutely beautiful if you haven't heard that version. Um, God, I kind of want to put it in the 5 out of 5, but I... I uh, I know for a fact that it's not that great, but I do I do really enjoy it. Uh, in fact, uh, when DDRXX was working on their remix for Silent Hill, the 2019 gift mix, uh, they, the person who was making the song was throwing around the instrumental track, and I told him flat out, like, look, I know you have Martin singing lead on this but um i need to get on this track i need to fortunately they have me doing backup vocals i'm doing harmonies on the chorus and little extra vocals here and there along with another person from the team and it was such a blast to record to watch that track unfold like the beautiful flower that it is so um if that song was in DDR Max, if the 2019 gift mix, that would be above Era Nostal Mix. You should really check it out. Uh, I'm proud of it, and the entire team's proud of it. And, you know, it, DDR XX is some good shit. Some goddamn good shit. You should check it out if you haven't already. Comment below if you love Martin and the mid-flight mid digital team. Post you love McChickens and Martin in the comments below if you haven't skipped to the end. Synchronized love. This one is... Oh, God. Some of these are a bit difficult because I don't necessarily have comments for them. Like, synchronized love is okay. I, 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 that's too high. That's way too high. Yeah, adequate. Trip Machine Climax, that's a 5 out of 5, easily. That's my favorite Trip Machine remix, without a doubt. Uh, the the one time I'm going to talk about a chart in this video, they could have made that so much more difficult. It's a bit criminal that they didn't actually... I know that there's the X special that they did years ago, but nah. I think even back then, it deserves more than an 8 on the old scale. I never let you down. Uh, did I? Was that in any earlier games? I, I probably. I'm gonna put it right next to its buddy. I was the one. I'm gonna put it right above it, actually. Stomp to my beat. This one is probably gonna be the main controversial pick for this, but uh, stomp to my beat. It's going in a two out of five. Now, this is expressly because I ruined the song for me. I've heard it so ungodly much throughout the years. Like I bought the single for it at a flea market, and I listened to it all the way through. And hearing like 30-plus minutes straight of Stomp to My Beat, it just really gets annoying as fuck. <laughs> Let's talk it over. This is going to go into 4 out of 5. I do like me some let's get it over. Let's talk it over. Let's get. Let's talk it over. 22 Dunk. One of the uh, few upcoming songs from the 2DX. The original 2DX. And Substream. So, uh, I irritated some people in my Konamix ranking when I threw a bunch of those near the bottom. Um, I stand by my placements of some of those. I still think that the original 2DX, while it had a lot of potential, it did squander most of it. And a lot of it just sounds like sounds cobbled together 
without rhyme or reason. But I'll be nice. I'll throw 22 dunk in 3 out of 5 above you leave me alone. Deep in you is 1 out of 5. I'm kidding. It's actually one of my favorites from the early Beat Mania series. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put it next to its brother, I'm For Real. And now Gamble, another one of my absolute favorites from the series. I mean, that's, not, that, that's not even me being generous at this point. Like, I, I fucking love Gamble. It's that it, it feels like one of those dirty police crime movies like it feels like it just fits perfectly instead of like the born identity or something oh four songs left can you believe it we got rugged ash and that's a f fucking trash of a song i i know some buddies of mine really love rugged ash and i i do appreciate the jazziness of it and I think if it was done in a more professional environment, then it has the potential to be a 5 out of 5. But as it stands, it's just early 2DX haberdashery. Get me in your sight, AMD Cancun Mix. <clears throat> 2 out of 5. My body's not used to me talking. This consecutively for such a long time. So if I'm starting to sound stuffy, uh, then I do apologize. But we're almost done, folks. We're almost done. And it's only been 40 minutes. Holy shit. God, I hope you enjoy long videos, folks. Hold on, maybe if I have another sip of my Pepsi, this video will be over a little bit faster. Woo! Okay. Uh, because someone mentioned it to me in Discord, I would like to point out that this is my CD collection. Um, just a nice little backdrop. Let the beat hit him. Bass mix. I do like me some bass mix. And I did say I do like the other ones better than the classic R&B mix. And I'm standing by that. I'm putting that in the absolute low tier 4 out of 5. So they're basically right next to each other in the ranking, but they're in different levels. Now, Paranoia Max, Dirty Mix Club, another version two. You might be wondering, now Sig, what's with this fucking blue raspberry looking ass Paranoia Max here? What's, what's with this? I'm putting it here momentarily. What's with this? Um, in the club versions of Second Mix... Yeah, they had all sorts. They had pretty much every song from Beat Mania 2DX and Substream playable in that game, in the second club version. And this is basically just what the club, another version in 2DX is. It's different placements of some notes others quantize differently it's it's an interesting sounding tune it's a novelty it's really weird that they decided to throw that in over the original one but i i, I do think it's for the better it just shows how varied and weird the series can get whenever it wants to just just whenever it wants to wild out and then it just drops some weird shit like that uh, I don't think it's better than the original Paranoia Max Dirty Mix, but it's definitely an interesting novelty. I will give it that. It's an interesting novelty. Oh, man. It almost shows everything on OBS. Almost. But, yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is my ranking for DDR Max Dance Dance Revolution US PS2. Um... Let me just scroll up a little bit. I'd rather focus on the songs that I love than the songs that I don't. So here we go. 
Let me know in the comments below what you think of this list. If you loved it, if you hated it, you know, feel free to let me know your comments and critiques. Uh, if you think me recording for 45 minutes straight is a bit of a uh, bit unnecessary, uh, I, I totally have no problem splitting these into multiple parts to save yourself some headache, to save me some headache. Um, yeah, let me know what you would rank these in the comments below. There will be a link to this tier maker in the description. And with all that said and done, thank you for watching. And, um, uh, man, <laughs> maybe I should have done this later on in the day when I was a bit more awake, but I really wanted to get this out today on Thursday. So hopefully you guys bear it with me with that one. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Don't be a stranger. You know the rules. One bite. Have a blessed day.